Kirk Herbstreit will be on the call for the Pac-12 championship game on ABC Friday night. Kirk, awesome to have you on the show with us. Come right out of the gates with it. Utah, are they one of the four best teams in the country? Well, I think they have put themselves in a, in a position to be recognized on, an, on a national level of, of being right there. I mean, they're sitting at five. Um, you know, if Georgia beats LSU, which would be a big upset, uh, I think you're going to see uh, the door shut on Utah and Oklahoma and Baylor and everybody else. I think that the four would be the four that we have this week. It would just maybe be rearranged. But uh, if Georgia were to go down to LSU, that door opens up. And then we have a discussion if, if Utah is able to beat Oregon. Uh, then we're potentially having a, a big discussion with about Utah and Oklahoma if Oklahoma can can be Baylor in the Big 12 championship. Kirk, you always talk about body of work. Utah's body of work it's kind of ridiculous. You know they've held 11 opponents under 100 yards rushing. They dominate all phases statistically. You look, you referenced it on your show. Since SC, they've won by an average of 29 points. So I ask you, you're going to call the game. Do you think they need to win convincingly against a team that has a pretty good body of work in Oregon, a top 15 team at least, to say, yes, we are the fourth ranked team and should get into the playoff if Georgia loses? I'm just going to be very candid with you guys, Yogi. I, I feel, and I, I, I watch all games. I, I, I've always tried to be a proponent since you were a coach of the Pac-12. I don't think um, I'm, I'm in the majority. I don't, I don't think that the national um, coverage respects the Pac-12. I think people look at the Pac-12 um, and they, they, they look at the results and right away there's, a, uh, that's the Pac-12. And so I think you're battling a perspective Perception. And I think Utah, whether it's fair or unfair, to me it seems very unfair. Utah is a team that right now is a classic example. Unless it's USC or maybe a Washington that has some tradition and some power behind that name, they don't. People don't seem to know east of the Rockies. If I said Tyler Huntley, they would say what? Like, they don't know. And so if you put Utah, the same team, and you put them in the ACC, they would be probably sitting in the top four. And, it, and it's crazy. It drives me nuts. But it, to answer your question, it would help Utah to not only win, but to look really good in doing it. Because uh, I don't think that the Pac-12 gets the same opportunity uh, to be able to showcase their teams. And when they do get that window and they don't look good, people kind of elbow each other and say, see what I'm talking about with this, this Utah team? So, yeah, based on that, I think they need to send a message to the country that they're legit. And if they just keep playing the way they have been, then I, you would think they'll be okay. Yeah, we've often talked about that here. And really, you know, the only people that necessarily – it should matter the 13 people in the room that have the voice around who's getting in and who's not, let alone you know the Twitter following that may say the SEC conference or the Big 12 conference is greater than the Pac-12. That being said, you referenced something earlier I want to hit on. George. Well, uh, yo, yo, I'll say this. Keep this in mind. I'll say this about the committee. They have had Utah ahead of the Big 12 100%. the entire yep. way. Yep. And if I'm a Utah fan, that's something I'm very excited about. So as a closing argument, you've got Oregon, what are they sitting at, 13? this week and you've got Oklahoma sitting there at six playing number seven right behind them so Oklahoma if you've watched Oklahoma play since they lost to Kansas State they almost lost the next week to Iowa State they were down by 25 to Baylor and had the biggest uh, comeback in school history they almost lost to TCU late in that game and then they finally looked pretty good in Bedlam last week against Oklahoma State meanwhile other than the loss to USC and the scare up in Seattle, who doesn't struggle up in Seattle against the Huskies, even though they're not great, it's a tough, tough, place, tough place to play. Look at the scores of Utah. I mean, they, are, they, they can't be any more dominant. So I think the committee sees it, um, and I think they've had them ahead. And I think if Utah wins Friday night, I think it would be enough to say put them in, providing that Georgia ends up slipping up in the SEC championship to LSU. Kirk, I started by mentioning the fact that you're going to be on the call for this matchup on Friday night. You mentioned Tyler Huntley, so I'll bring his name into the conversation. Everyone focuses on Utah's defense being dominant. How Do you see them scoring enough points and making it more of that stylistic game that you're referring to so that they are able to impress the committee nationally with Tyler Huntley at the helm? 
Well, since since Kyle Whittingham has been there, they, they've won games with defense, physicality, line of scrimmage, running the football, and usually asking their quarterback not to make mistakes. And you guys watch it every week. Uh, Huntley has been a quarterback with a lot of receivers, so you can't really just take one guy away, and it makes it very tough to defend. And he's making great decisions. He's not turning the ball over. He's been very efficient. Number five this week, again, going into the last uh, championship weekend. So I, I, I think that that's what I feel is different. I think anybody who's watched him can feel that it's no longer just defense and special teams and running the ball with, with Zach Moss. Now, if you load up against that, they can make you pay for it with a dual threat quarterback who can throw the ball uh, on a dime. So I, I think there's an opportunity. Oregon, the last two weeks, has not played great football, even in the Civil War. Yogi, I know you had that game. I, I, I don't think their offense looked great. Uh, they almost looked like they were just going through the motions. You got to think that Mario Cristobal is going to have a, a, his team inspired playing for a championship. But um, I think Utah needs to, you know, all hands on deck, I, I should say, uh, on offense and defense as they get ready for the Ducks on Friday. Can't wait to see you in Seems person at Levi Stadium. Pac-12 championship game. You got the call. ABC Friday night at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Looking forward to it. You got it. Thanks, guys.